What's good YouTube, Jam back again with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about three things that completely changed my life. Number one, working out. You know, I started out as a small, skinny, scrawny kid, 5'10", under 100 pounds as a senior in high school. Every single time I would go out, I would comment on my weight. You know, at school, are you anorexic? Were you born premature? I'm always constantly getting comments on my weight. You know, so I improved my life. I started working out, being very extremely consistent. Right, I improve myself, and now when I go out, I do. I still get comments, but on the opposite end of the spectrum. Right now, it's where do you work out? How long have you been working out? Oh, you look so good. People come up to me. People are more friendly, and yeah, they just ask me questions about fitness every single time. And it's crazy because sometimes I used to wear hoodies to hide my physique, and now sometimes I wear hoodies if I don't feel like talking about working out when I go out. I started working out to make myself the most attractive version of myself. I wanted to be attractive. I wanted to attract the type of women that I wanted. I wanted to be able to attract women in general, because at this time, when I was small, like I just really wasn't attractive to women. And now it's it made my life a lot easier. Now it's like I barely have to try. Like Women come up to me. Right, it makes my life a lot easier. I'm 100% sure that working out will make you more attractive. I'm at the point where it's like, I don't know how you guys are attracting women without working out, without looking good, without being lean, without being in shape. I have no idea. And it honestly doesn't make any sense for you not to look this way. It doesn't even make sense why you're not working out. You know, guys, I'm a very competitive person. And it's like, in today's age, we're in today's age, we're in a global dating market. So it's, you're no longer competing against the guys from your town. You're no longer competing against the guys in your city, right? You're competing against everybody in the world. So it's like, how are you going to compete with everybody, right? The best way to separate yourself is physically. Working out made me more attractive, more confident, and it also opened many doors for me. I've been doing more and more and more work with Alphalete, and just working with them alone has completely changed my perspective on a lot of things, specifically by just talking to people. I'm always curious on how people started working with Alphalete, right? I'm talking to some of the influencers, some of the people that you probably know, who you follow. Where I talk to them, I ask them like, how did they become, how did they start working with Alphalete? I pretty much talk to everybody just because I'm just curious on how people got in the position that they're in, you know? Cause there's not just one way, everyone has a different method. And I'm gonna share my method as well in a different video. But this just shows if you work on yourself, improve your looks, improve your body, this can open doors for you and put you in rooms with people that you once looked up to. Number two, stopped watching The Hub. Guys, when I say this is the best decision I've ever made in my entire life, I cannot make this up. This was the best thing I've ever done. If you struggle with motivation, ambition, I swear this is a cheat code, right? I truly believe, I truly believe it's in our human nature to want to procreate, you know? And if you're not improving your life, if your life sucks, you're not in shape, you're doing all the wrong things and you're watching the hub and releasing yourself, your body's gonna tell you, good job, Good job. Like we don't need to change our life because what we're doing is working, right? I don't even touch myself, right? The only way that I will relieve myself is with a woman. I swear this has caused me to improve my life. A lot of things that we do, I truly believe a lot of things that a lot of things that we do as men is to attract women in our life. I truly believe this. And I kind of understood this whenever I stopped watching the hub, right? I knew that I would be more ambitious. I'll be more social because I have to be, right? If you give yourself no option, what do you think is gonna happen? I was watching this podcast the other day and somebody talked about how, you know, they haven't been laid in two years. And he said he watched The Hub because this kind of satisfies himself. And I was like, I was like, dang, like that's, you would never improve, right? You would never improve because your body tells you good job because we have a biological need to procreate. And if you're not, your body's gonna say, okay, you're not attracting women. How can we attract women? You need to be more ambitious. You need to change your life altogether. I swear, to, I swear, I swear to God, this is the best cheat code I've ever come across. I'm extremely ambitious, extremely competitive. I'm focused on becoming the best possible version of myself. And I wanna be well-rounded in everything. Like I want everything. Okay, number three, obviously, is moving. I said it once, and I'll say it again and again and again. 
specifically because I'm exposed to things that I was never exposed to in my small hometown. Guys, I'm gonna keep pushing moving because this changed my life. This is another one of the things that changed my life the most, right? You need to be exposed to certain things. A lot of things you think are impossible because you don't have access to them, right? A lot of things you think are impossible because you're just not exposed to it, right? The more that you expose yourself to new things, to different type of people, it, ex it expands your mind, changes your way of thinking. I'm at the point where I truly believe I'm at the point where I truly believe everything is possible. I can achieve anything that I want. All I have to do, like I think of probability, right? What's the probability of me achieving a certain thing? And all you have to do is shorten that gap, right? How do you shorten that gap? By putting yourself in a position to achieve it. Damn, bro, there's fucking bugs everywhere. God damn. Don't let fear stop you from being great. That's all I gotta say. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The things that I want for myself are the same things I want for you guys. Let's get to work.